The challenge is such an easy thing to do. It's an easy platform for you to do it. All you've got to do is make that shift. And it's hard to make that shift, but once you do do that shift, then the rest will just flow. So trust in the system, trust in us, and believe me, your life will change forever. And that's a big statement, but I can tell you from speaking to hundreds and hundreds of people that their lives have changed forever. The best thing about the challenge was it was a lot of fun. The challenge showed me what to do, so I just went in and did it. Each week I got stronger and stronger and stronger, plus your body's changing, and so I had to just view it like a rehabilitation. When I first went to gym, I really wasn't doing a lot, but I thought I was a legend, and I was only walking on the treadmill, but that's all I could do. But pretty quickly, I was gaining strength, and I was thinking, how come I'm getting strong? But I did and just the feeling of well-being. And I have felt like that for ages. I feel awesome. The training, after a couple of weeks, I started to love it. It was my me time. It was the, you know, the kids were in the crate and, and I could put my headphones in and the whole world wasn't listening and it was, you know, me time, which I never, I never had made time for before. So once I started actually following the program, it was like, all right, you know, you want to walk out some days and just think, no. Nah, but a push through, and once I had that mindset and determination, it's gonna work. I did exactly what was written down. I thought, that's gonna make me what I wanna be. Do it, suck it up. It became part of my life, and you know, maybe the first week or two, getting into that sort of rhythm, preparing food was, yeah, a little bit difficult, and time-wise was hard. Dinner preparation for me, you know, it was, I didn't have to think about it. I knew it was there, sitting at home, ready to go. Um, I didn't have to go shopping. Prepared all my meals. I had read up on what everybody did. And that was the key thing, the preparation. You know, life's not easy and the challenge wasn't easy one bit. It's so your mentality. Once you've got that strong headspace and you're in the right mind, it goes from there. I think the first three weeks was probably the toughest three weeks just to get my body out of the habit of eating chocolate. Taking chocolate out of the equation before I started the challenge was quite hard, but to tell you the truth, I replaced it with like the Maxine Burn Bars. I was having Maxine Bars, which was really good to fix my chocolate craving, but how I would feel making a cake at work with all these chocolate and ice cream, because we make ice cream cakes at work, how I would feel going home that day knowing I didn't touch any little bit, it felt great. I had a lot of support from my husband. My husband gave me a lot of support. The support I had from family was originally, it was hard because I think, you know, your loved ones love you the way you are. So they don't necessarily think that you need to do a challenge like this. But when they started to see the results I was getting, people say, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, just the max challenge, just do it, go on it. I just gave it everything I had within myself. So just coming from the deepest place. I gave it my best, I gave it my 100%. The first six weeks I started to see um, that I didn't have bloating problems, which was a daily issue. My pain had subsided dramatically. And so those two things started to happen quite early in the challenge and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing the weights go up, especially when I started to get compliments that sort of boosts you along and motivates you. I basically did exercise every single day. I did the specific weights that I had to do and then just threw in fun things that I love to do, like aerobics, I love aerobics, and boot camp classes, which were really fun, and went to the pools. So I just made it fun, you know, I had a ball. I spoke to my friends who were so supportive and said, look, no social drinks after work because social drinks were followed by, you know, pub food, which was followed by sleep-ins, which was followed by, you know, an unproductive weekend. So really I thought, no, I'm going to set myself this challenge. I'm going to, you know, follow the training principles and keep a diary and a blog of everything. The results just were amazing. Every week I'd take a photo and, you know, the first week I was like, oh, I've lost, you know, I think a kilo and a half and felt, felt pretty good. I think it was two weeks and there was a marked difference, you know, in two weeks of, you know, I didn't have the back rolls anymore. The cellulite was not so hideous. 
I was at the gym one evening and someone came up to me and said, you've lost, Where, where's the other half of you gone? And I said, what do you mean? And um, they said, y you've halved yourself. Yeah, the girls at work um, would always comment on how like my pants were getting too big and she would always comment on my bum. <laughs> I guess she, she would say I was getting quite sculptured. <laughs> One evening I was going out to dinner and my old comfortable pants, which were too tight, were literally hanging off me. And, you know, I was going through my wardrobe and there was nothing that would fit me. When I took my after photo, because I hadn't looked at my before photo really from the start of the challenge, so when I actually put them next to each other, I was blown away by my results because seeing myself every day, I didn't really notice that I'd changed that much. And when I really looked at it. The reaction from friends and family was pretty amazing. Um, it's, you know, the close friends and family don't seem to realise how much weight you've lost and how much you've changed because they see you all the time. So at the end of it, I sort of, you know, said, have a look at the before and after photos and they're like, wow, that's amazing, the results that you can achieve in 12 weeks. Oh, it's been huge. I, I did a little video clip and I put it up on Facebook at the end of the challenge. And I guess not, not a lot of people knew that I was doing it and I've just had an influx of emails and comments, people wanting to know what I've done and starting to do it themselves now. It's unbelievable how many people stop me and go, oh my goodness, send me the training or send me the meal plans. Everyone wants to know my secret. Everyone thinks that I've done something crazy, I've taken a magic pill. Too easy. Exercise, clean eating and protein shakes, you can't go wrong. It's just had a positive effect of, you know, on people around me and even my sister who sent me the, the picture to begin with, she sent me a text the other day, when's the next challenge begin next year? This is something I've got to take on board. It's been fa a fabulous experience. I've lost 14 kilograms and I've stopped smoking. I've stopped guzzling coke. I've stopped drinking wine all the time. I've stopped stuffing sugar into my mouth and just gained so much, much more. I started to feel happy again. Started to feel self-pride. I started to feel like I was moving to where I should be in life. And it's amazing, amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, I lost uh, just over 14 kilos. I've toned up, shaped up, changed my shape completely. I was 59.2 and today I'm 51.6. I think I dropped my dress sizes or my pants from down from a size 16 down to about a size nine in my jeans. So, your wardrobe, <laughs> that's on the cards. I'm so glad that I did it. I love the results. I'm not gonna stop. I haven't finished my journey. It's just the start of it. The best thing about the challenge, other than the results, is just the way it's made me more confident in who I am and what I want. And I know that if I have a dream that I can actually achieve that and it's not impossible. I've done everything that I wanted to do. I've still got more to go, but that's there. You know, where I am now, I'm content, I'm happy, and I know that I have the ability to keep pushing. For me, the challenge has really just been a stepping stone to knowing that I can, you know, take on anything, really, you know, head on. I've got my self-confidence back, my discipline, my self-respect. I can hold my head up high now and just be proud of my achievements. Yeah, it's given me my life back and, you know, that newfound sort of self-respect. So that's, you know, that's something I'll forever be thankful for. I have had a confidence boost. I do feel great. On social media, I did show my photos to my friends. I revealed them. At first, I was a bit hesitant, but I thought, you know what? I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud of what I achieved. So I wanted, I wanted to show everyone. So I did put them up on there, on there for them to see. And I got some amazing comments from my friends. They've been very supportive. I went in um, with the expectation of gaining my fitness back. I wanted to see how much I could improve on my health. Well, physically, it's freed me up because I was getting to be a little bit reclusive in my house because of my issues. I had to work around my issues, when I could go out, what I could do. So it's given me a lot of freedom. The pain, I don't wake up with pain, I don't go to sleep with pain. I don't take any tablets whatsoever now. For the arthritis, it's given me mobility and flexibility. 
Transformation-wise, well, of course, um, I'm a woman, so um, I do like to look my best. I always have. Slipping into dresses that used to be tight and then going down a dress or two in size is absolutely fantastic. It's nice getting complimented. People say that I don't look my age and that I have inspired them, and that's wonderful to hear. The challenge has impacted my life dramatically. I can say that before I had very little energy for a 33-year-old woman. Day to day I just yeah, was tired, but now I feel fitter, healthier, stronger. I feel like I'm a better mother because of that. So not only has the challenge changed me physically, it's changed me emotionally. Inside I feel so much better about myself. Yeah, I feel as though I have a more holistic life that it, it's, you know, the whole mind, body, spirit, it's all in tune and I'm happy and I'm looking after myself better and I don't want to change it. It's changed my life, being able to fit into clothes that you haven't been able to fit into for a long time. Um, being able to you know, actively go and do things that you couldn't do before. I look back at my old, my old face, my old self, and it's like I can see the sadness. So looking at that, the good one, <laughs> the new one, super proud. Never, ever, ever done um, anything that's made me so proud. And knowing that, you know, friends and family and colleagues are going, you're amazing, um, means everything, means everything. You're changing your body and you're changing your life and you're changing your children's life. You can do it. Anyone can do it.